Did you know that many of the machines that we use every day are powered by an electric motor? Incredibly, they could be built large enough to drive the world's most powerful trains or small enough to work in a wristwatch. Engineering advances in electric motor and battery technology has also led to the production of electric vehicles which reduce air pollution and help in the fight against climate change. For this project, we're going to show you how to build a simple motor using electric current supplied by a battery. Inside an electric motor, the attracting and repelling forces of magnets create rotational motion. If you've ever played with magnets, you know about the fundamental law that opposite poles attract and like poles repel. The electric current flowing through the coil in this model produces a magnetic field that interacts with the magnetic field of the ring magnet. The magnetic forces between the coil and the ring magnet are what makes the coil spin at high speeds. For this challenge, you will need the following items and a full list is available on our website. Let's get started. To make the coil, we will measure a 50 cm length of enamelled copper wire and cut using sharp scissors. Then we will wrap the copper wire tightly around a pencil, leaving 8 cm of wire at each end. Next, we will slide the coil of wire off the pencil, flatten it into a circle, then wrap the two ends around the coil on opposite sides to hold it together. We will straighten the long pieces of wire sticking out so they form arms coming from the centre of the circle. The enamelled copper wire has a coating that prevents electricity from passing through it. To ensure an electrical connection can be made between the arms of the wire coil and the paperclip stand, we will remove one side of the wire coating from each arm using sandpaper. We will use paper clips to create a stand for the coil to spin on. Paper clips are made from steel, which is an electrical conductor. This means the electric current from the battery can flow through the paper clips to reach the coil. To build the stand, we will straighten one end of each of the paper clips to create a hook shape. Then twist it halfway along the straightened length to create a small loop for the arms of the coil to slot into. To keep the battery in position, we will stick it to the cardboard base using modelling clay. We will then connect one of the hooked ends of the paperclip stand to each end of the battery using electrical tape. It's important to ensure there is a good connection between the paperclip and the battery because electric current must be able to flow freely to create a full circuit once the coil is added. Now we will gently feed the ends of the copper wire through the loops in the paperclips so that the coil is suspended. Before moving, it is a good idea to check that the coil can rotate freely in the loops and make adjustments to the height of the loops if necessary. Finally, we will place the magnets on top of the battery. They stay there without any glue because the battery is made from steel, which is a magnetic material. Now we will give the coil a spin. We can see that our motor is working because the coil continues spinning all on its own. You can find out more about the science behind electric motors, step-by-step -step instructions and a quiz to test your knowledge in our accompanying worksheet. And for more hands-on projects to try at home, visit imeki.org forward slash stem at home.